What's going on, everybody? It's there Ernesto go. Gomez. Yes! Yeah! yeah. We got it. He's on. Mm. I mean, Aaron. Oh, wait, wait. Mute him again. Mute him again. No, don't mute me. <laughs> I, kinda like I get to this. talk only for I, once a week. I like to make you quiet, and I think this is fun. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. Censored. Censored. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's the Ernesto Gomez Show. I am Ernesto Gomez, your host. Uh, they gave me a show, which I don't have no idea why. Ricky believes in me. Ricky, believe in me. I believe in you. I don't like Ricky. Fuck you, Ricky. Excuse me. I I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my profanity. I shouldn't yeah, he's say that. Telling everybody, it's a PG show. It's a PG show, and the Look, first thing I say this is, right here at the beginning of it. I got it out of the way. I am sorry, kids. If you're watching, you should be doing homework or virtual learning, whatever is going on these days. Get your education on. Get your education on. That's uh, that's Google Cardboard on Pornhub. <laughs> is it now? <laughs> 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 So we missed last week. I apologize about that. I know some of you guys are very sad and depressed, but I am, I don't care. Uh, no, I do care. Actually, I was pretty sad. And like tonight we were talking about the show. I mean, just early today. So I'm hyped about it. A lot of uh, good stuff coming up. A lot of stuff going on in the news. I'm going to talk about. And then a very special guest, a good friend of mine. I'm going to get to her in a little bit. But first things first. So I don't know if you guys have been hearing that. Well, people in California... We uh, basically kind of opened up, did we not officially open up? Is that true? That's what twenty five percent. Well, it's, which it's, is it's better, right? I mean, we can go some places. Yeah, guess. like outdoor stuff is open, which we've been going. Uh, but it's 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 really cool. We opened up, and uh, there's like what well, gyms are open now, salons are open now, um, drug houses are open now. So that's really good. So that do five at a time. Yeah, man. Drugs, PG thirteen <laughs> show, right? <laughs> People who do drugs are horrible. What is going on with the mic? Is okay? Yeah. Yeah, man. So we're here. Uh, this weekend's supposed to be 109, 112, uh, and 107. Yep. That is gaka. horrible. That's, that is very gaka. That is nasty. <laughs> so, again, it's uh, around 109, 111. And these are the people who are going to catch STDs this weekend. So that's one thing. <laughs> Daddy ass jokes. Someone laugh at that just to make me feel good. I thought about that like moments before I went on the show. I hate, I, I hate myself. Good one, Dad. That's a good one, Dad. I got a dad bod with no kids at all. But uh, yeah, man. So uh, you know what, though? One thing I was thinking about, and I wanted to ask you guys because I, I really enjoy what I do. And I was thinking about... A question, uh, Jesse and, and everybody in the room, if you guys can answer. What was your guys' first job and how old were you? What was your name again? Anthony. Anthony, what was your first job and how old were you? Uh, my first job was working for my grandfather's uh, mechanic shop as okay. like a bookkeeper. <laughs> how old were you? Just doing math. Uh, like 13, 14. You were 13 years old working at your grandpa's mechanic shop. Just running the numbers. Did you? Oh, yeah, like no big deal. I mean, that's addition and subtraction. Did he pay you? <laughs> yeah, under the table. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, pay, he's right? diming out his grandpa right now. <laughs> he's dead. It's all right. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, right? So, uh, Jesse, what was your first job? I was actually lived in a time when paper boy was still a thing. You were a paper boy? Yeah, paper boy. Uh, that's code name for hand jobs. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> you didn't pay your bill today, Mr. Burley. <laughs> you want a Z job? If you don't know what it is, you can't afford it. What's on the news today? I don't know. Entertainment. <laughs> Charlie, what was your... I deliver newspapers. I really... I, I rode a bike. Did you have a bicycle? I you did. I rode a bike with, like, the sack around my... So you were the real-life paper boy. You guys remember the video game Paper Boy? Yeah, you I had a... it. Yeah. It was what? the real deal, man. I had the real deal. How old were you? Really old. I did that uh, in sixth grade to probably seventh grade. I stopped. Uh, that was like 1971. Right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that Jesse was... is uh, Jesse has been around since Wooden Wheels. Charlie, <laughs> oh, Charlie, what was your first job, sir? Uh, I worked at a Blockbuster. You worked at a Blockbuster. Yeah. Behind well, that curtain that, that said that adults is. only. Yeah. Do you remember that curtain that had pornos? Yeah. <laughs> right. In the back room. <laughs> Yeah. No, the block was, I don't know if kids know what that is. And this is before, and I don't get in politics, you guys know that. This is before Trump. This is when people would like Trump. And it was like, Trump me hard. <laughs> you know, it was like, you made a porno <laughs> on that stuff. Uh, 
So, um, let me see. Let's go to the comments. Uh, uh, Jesse, if you can, put it on the screen. I want to ask people who are watching the show tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks so much. It's a great pleasure. What was your first job, and how old were you? And then we're going to touch up on that, um, and then give away some free stuff tonight. We got more DVDs we can give away, probably. Uh, Ricky yeah. We got some movies. Movies. Yeah, yeah. Give away we got some, oh, ooh, Stagehand, Border Brothers. I was actually in this film. It was a great film. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let me see. Brad coming through with the sexy dad bod. Let me see. 13. Brad said he was 13 working at Com. Now, Brad, tell me what you did at Com. I, 13 years old? What the hell could a 13 year old do out there? Uh, Ada said, What's up, my G? Hi, sister. My other sister, my earpiece is falling off. Mr. Ricky Bird, what was your first job? Um, what did you do? My first job, I think, was uh, doing um, handyman work, like remodeling <laughs> stuff. Oh, handyman oh, work, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, can I work with you today? Come on, Ricky. Come on, buddy. Just uh, let me touch you below the belt, bud. <laughs> and by the way, sis, they're not even these. They're Blu-rays. Step your game up. Woo! Mic drop. So you you uh, were a hand uh, handyman job. Handyman, yeah. How old were you? Uh, thirteen. So explain to me, as a handyman, like what did you do? Like just like fix random man. stuff? Just like uh, re doing remodels. So I was like their bitch, basically running, you know. Getting so nothing has changed from now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it just uh, the bitches just get older. I work for. Uh, yeah, pretty much, man. So again, in the comments section, go ahead and, uh, and tell us what you guys did for your, what was your first job and everything, and how old were you? My very first job, my father was in the military. Rest in peace, Daddy. I love you. Uh, 13 years old, I worked at a commissary on base. I don't know if anybody was out there was in the military, but I worked at the commissary, and we worked, I worked as a, a grocery bagger. And every single time we had to go to work, we had to pay a dollar fifty. You guys know that? Because we had, yeah, we had to pay a dollar fifty on Saturdays or Monday through Saturday, dollar fifty. Sunday was two fifty. The reason why is you guys see those people who get grocery shopping carts. We got worked off of tips. That money was towards them, so we had to pay to go to work. Wow. Yeah, great. man. And we had to just work off of tips. So we're bagging people's groceries, and and uh, I actually enjoyed it because that like you get played. Well, no, because uh. uh it kind of does, huh? Okay, wait a minute now. I feel like I am kind of getting played. But I was 13 years old, so like when you get tipped a couple of dollars, that was like $5. This was back in 99. Yeah, yeah. That's... That shows my real age. I kind of feel like I was getting played. Yeah, but... Yeah, it took me a second. Yeah. When I was 13 years old, I was I'm making like 20 bucks a night, and then I would go to... I lived in Colorado. So we went to a high school called Fountain Fort Carson High School, and they had a Pizza Hut pizza, a soda, and a cookie for three dollars. So I was like, "Oh, that ain't shit." You know, here, here's a dollar, paying in quarters, and everything else. That's why I look the way I do now. You sound like no, you know, whippersnappers and my <laughs> I used to walk uphill in snow and all that stuff. Uh, Tiffany Smith says she worked at the social. A security office from the age of 14 to 16. What can you possibly do there? How does someone work there from 14 to 16? That's awesome. I'm gonna like that. Ada, so my first job said I was Maria the housekeeper. She was a housekeeper in Colorado. I remember that, sis. She <laughs> you was. Oh no, no, you work here. Brad, I dug irrigation at com and the ground was like concrete. Wow, straight up hard worker. That was actually pretty awesome. That's a good yeah, awesome it's a good job, you know? I like that. Uh, Anthony Acronym said, government hustle. So, AKA, he collects wick. Let me see what else he has happen going on. I gotta collect wick, anyways. Um, but yeah, man, so keep you know, commenting. And if you guys would like a free Border Brother DVD, let me know. I have gas cards I'm giving away. You, if you want Border Brothers, say Border Brothers in the comments. If you want a gas card, say gas card. I will virtually send you a gas card. So we're going to do that for the night. Uh, in the meantime, we, we let's... We are asking people to tell us what was your first job. So I'm sorry, was I not talking? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, was I not interrupted right now? Well, no, what were we saying, Jesse? 
So yeah, we want to hear. We want to hear what people's first jobs were. So it's on the screen right now. People see it over next to your head right now. It's Lisa cool. Valverde said, "I worked at a hot dog on a stick." By the way, does you guys used to remember that? Do you guys remember that? How? Yellow, remember know. the lemonade? You guys remember the lemonade? You know what? I remember that Lisa did because she downed one hot dog. No, anyways, oh, uh, no, I was playing. That's awesome. I like that. Uh, so Tiffany said she filed papers and empty trash cans. So custodian, okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, you but filed the papers into the trash can. Pretty much. <laughs> right, uh, so. You know, speaking of first jobs and everything else, I don't know how that, that segued into that. Let's gonna get to our, our special guest of the night. Special guest of the night was a personal friend of mine, very good friend of mine. She's very talented, very lovely. She is actually running for Miss Kern County. I guess it's going down this Saturday. She can elaborate a little more on that. Everybody, give it up for Miss Jamie Apshire, everybody. Clap it up for Miss Jamie Apshire. Yeah, no, no, we can hear you just some sort of problems. There was no sound, you know. Um, so uh, Ada Valdez said, if you can change one thing about Kern County, what would it be? Oh, if I could change something. Um, if there's one thing you could possibly change, what can you change and why? I, that's a good question. I would say I would like to see more sides of town come together. As someone who was born and raised on the south side, we went to South High together. And now uh -huh. that I live in the Rosedale area, you see very diverse um, areas, not ever come together. And I would like to bring everybody within the community, regardless of what side of town you're from, where you grow mm -hmm. up together and see everyone come together and just like com converse and hang out and do events. And so th that is the one thing that I've always probably said should happen because up until what Ernesto may be like, 24 yeah. we started hanging out on like the other side of town yeah the, it yeah. was like way late in life <laughs> need a reminder jamie and i went to one of the roughest schools in kern county which is south high we are south high rebels um we enjoy that game. like you know we were south high rebels it's crazy <laughs> and then like we started partying, partying like in rosedale we had a lot of fun we had a lot of good times um again in the comments section let me get back to that Tell me your first job and you, what would what you guys do and everything else um, Again, like and like this like right here. It's so funny because um, Again me and Jamie known each other for a lot of years and uh, it's like we're Obviously older, but I feel like we have an age. How do you feel Jamie? I don't think we aged. I still feel like we're the same age like, and we were in high school 20s. days our 30s yeah. now to 20s. I am almost Ms. Kern County, and I am almost closer to 40. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah absolutely, man. That's it's great. So, uh, again, uh, so this journey, you've been through a lot and everything else. When is it going down? Is it going down this Saturday, or how's, like, what is happening? Yes, this Saturday. So, tomorrow is actually the last day to vote, so if anyone would like to vote for me, um, I'll insert the PayPal link and you just have to make sure you put my name in the comments or the notes on PayPal. But we find out Saturday mid afternoon who actually won. So we're down to the top two. I made the top 10%. There's an, one other person in my division. So it's 50, 50 chance right now. So I'm really excited. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, 50, 50 chance. Uh, you know what? I gotta admit, though, I'm I'm rooting for you. We're all rooting for you and everything else. We're gonna have like a good old time and everything. Now, uh, with with the whole Kern County, there's a lot going on. Um, if you become Miss Kern County, what does that exactly elaborate? Like, how does that work? What is your your responsibilities at that point? So our responsibility in the Miss Kern County pageant, it's more than a pageant, it's community service. So we will be out there serving our community with a servant heart and servant hands, and we will be at every event we're invited to. So if anybody in any city within the county has an event that they would like us to appear at, please contact me, please contact us. We would be more than willing to help. We like to get out and be hands-on within our community. And we're not afraid to get dirty. So it's not just about beauty and looks. We're about serving and being there for everyone that's within the community. Let's get to straight up. Let's let's get straight to it. I want to know, 
What is one of your weaknesses and one of your strengths? This is like a damn interview, by the way. Like a, a real life interview. <laughs> so like what it. is that right? You know, the interview like, why do you see yourself in five years? By the way, for people who interview people, why do why do they ask you that? Where do you see yourself in five years? I don't get that. Like you want like you know what's bullshit when they say, Oh, you know, to be with you guys and expanding my horizons, that's what I say. But I'm just kinda like, I just wanna be employed. So, uh, you know. Uh with that being said, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? My strengths, um, especially particular to this role, is that I'm already active within the community. I, I served on two boards. Uh, one was the Bakersfield Association of Petroleum Landmen, but I stepped down to actually do the pageant. I still currently serve on the Young Professionals of Energy board. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I also helped with the, the Women's Business Conference Committee. Thank you, Stacey. I think I, they said you were in the comments. I can't see them. But um, I helped with the speakers on the, I was on the speaker committee for that conference. And I helped with CASA. I helped with the Bakersfield Homeless Shelter. I'm at every oil and gas event that's local, that's in town. We yeah. just did the Oil Can Do It drive. And it was successful considering the times. And yeah, I'm actively advocating for the oil and gas industry already. So it's just, I'm just already there. I'm already out there. So that would be Absolutely. great. Oh, yeah. Wait, Okay, a weakness, um, is specifically to the journey to the crown, is that it's very hard to talk about myself. And um, I had to learn because everything that I do for the community and in life in general, I just got my master's program, or I'm sorry, I just finished my master's program. I just got my master's of legal studies through the College of Law at OU. And um, everything I do, I just do. I don't do it because I think like, oh, that was great. So it's really hard to put the things that I do in words of praise. And so I think it's been a learning curve and also very humbling to see it in a different perspective. And I've also had so many people reach out to me tell me that they find light in their life for me and that <clears throat> I'm their encouragement. So what I feel is a weakness is maybe also a strength. Absolutely. I, I love the way you answer that and everything else. Again, this is Jamie, Jamie Absher. And I've known Jamie for, like, again, so many years. And I keep saying Absher, but it's Absher. Absher. There's no <laughs> end. I don't know why I always said that. Uh, again, me and her had a lot of fun times. We had, a, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, get together, a lot of social gatherings. My last and name has never changed. <laughs> that's true. But you put Jamie A, which you should change that on your social media. Again, okay, give Jamie so a follow. I mean, when you know my boys with that? Anthony and everything. Huh? You know why I did that? Why? Remember when I had 70,000 followers on broadcasting app? Oh, that's right. So yeah. Jamie's kind of, uh, she has people after you've seen Jamie and everything else. She has a lot of people following her on social media and everything else. So and I'm going to ask you some, me in real life. I'm yeah. going to ask you some, some quick questions, rapid questions. Quick. Very, very simple. Quick, quick, quick. So I want your reaction. And then if I don't, if I don't like it, I'm going to stop you and ask you why. Okay. Okay. So, the minute I ask you a question, you have two choices. There's no in between. Okay. All right. Okay. So, and also too, I want everybody in the comment section switch it over. Ask a question to where she only has two choices, which means like it could be anything, something simple. For example, Jamie, I'm gonna ask you, red or blue? Okay, I'll take that. Burrito or a taco? Burrito. Okay. Type of taco, garnasada or chicken? Vegan. Vegan? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> a vegan no, that's cool. taco? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I get. What is what exactly isn't a vegan taco? Is like tofu? It's a salad Everything's in a tofu. tortilla. <laughs> it's just, it's right? It's tofu, man. So, uh, uh, wait a minute, okay. It's goo. It's, it's, uh, like it's goo. 60% tofu. Anthony, help me out with this, bro. Yeah, it's like 60% tofu, 40% lies. Yeah. Okay, I'll give, I'll give it that. And then, By the way, shout out to Anthony. He's, he's in here. Me and Anthony have been back and forth on social media. He's a good buddy of mine. What's up, bro? Um, so, tofu, taco. Okay. I gotta give a shout out to Jess if she's watching. What is up, girl? Much love to you. She she said I wouldn't give her a shout out. So anyways, but yeah, a tofu taco, which is okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's a. Uh, so this is not a multiple question. This is not a multiple answer. But what kind of fuel do you put in your in your gas tank? 
Premium. I have an Premium? <laughs> I go to okay. Gas Wars on Brundage, just to let you know. <laughs> if it's two seventy nine, I'm putting two eighty in. I'm not a rich person, by the way. I'm not rich either. <laughs> Aqua Vina or Dasani? Oh, Dasani. Dasani? I like Dasani? Coke. I like Coke. That's Coke or Coke. Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. All That's right. I, I I drink Coke Zero. I'm a real man. Yeah. Uh, but you're like Aqua Vina. Did it sh did it sh yeah, dude. Well, I'm sorry. I had a uh, Michelob years ago. A Zima? <laughs> a Zima. Do you guys remember the Zima commercial? Well, they was like slam it down and everything turned ice cold. Yeah. It was like, let me have a Zima. And she's like, yeah, bro. Like, Sprite and yeah, dude. That's wild, man. It's oh, the White Claw of the 90s. It is the White Claw of the 90s. Yeah, Zimas? A third? True. So... So I know she explained, you know, her journey and stuff into doing this. Are there any stories she has of like what it's like in in the pageant world? Uh, you know. It's so it's all virtual. So the Worst pageant cat story. Who it has, <laughs> the pageant has been redone <laughs> for to fit in quarantine and COVID rules. So everything has been done virtual. So I don't have the actual pageant experience like anybody else would have you're gonna have to hold that thought i am so sorry i love you but we have comments okay and daniel asks whiskey or vodka vodka okay uh britney or christina Ooh. Brittany. Brittany. it's britney bitch okay oops i did it again <laughs> uh, that's right uh kim thompson says we have a lot in common uh, Pamela Katz says, hi, Brianna. I don't know who Brianna is. Oh, Brie must be watching, too. That means she's okay. probably in life. Okay. Hi, girl. Hi, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, dog or cat? Dog. Gentlemen, dog or cat? Dog. Ant? Yeah, probably dog. Bird? Bird? <laughs> Ricky Bird, but dog or cat? Oh, uh, I take a. I don't know. I'm pretty even. 50 uh, 50? Yeah. No, what would you eat for. No, it's my turn. Whatever was the slowest. Charlie, dog or cat? I don't know. I'm 50 50 too, but I think maybe, maybe dogs. I like cat. I've, I've grown to like The cats. correct answer is marsupial. Sir. Marsupial. Marsupial. Fri uh, sat uh, Friday or Saturday? Saturday. That's it's. It, why is it always Saturday? I like Fridays because I know if I'm gonna go have some couple cocktails, I can not worry about going to work the next yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ernesto, I'm trying to be good. Yes. We're old. We're tired. We're too tired to go out. We are old and retired. Yeah, I don't do anything. I just go home and read the good book go and just relax. <laughs> I read the good book and say, Lord, thank you for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pineapple cake or apple turnover? Neither. I don't like sweets. I'm sorry. Let me ask you this again. Pineapple cake or apple turnover? Neither. Neither? Are you serious? It does. <laughs> you don't eat sweets at all? You don't like chocolate chip cookies, Oreos, Ojos, or, or Ding Dongs? No, I do like dairy. Is that like a vegan thing. Thing. thing or some shit? I, 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 yeah, kind of, I guess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, guess. I what? I never knew that. I never knew that, Jamie. So uh, Kim Thompson said, Courtney or Kim? Oh, Courtney. Yeah, I like that. Uh, uh, okay, Lisa Valverde. Hello, Lisa. Lisa, hey, how you doing, sweet? I haven't seen you in a while. Lisa's your homegirl, right? She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's my travel she's, buddy. She's overseas, isn't she? No, she's here. Oh, she's back in her. Okay, true. Yep. She said, Team Edward or Team Jacob? Oh, Team Jacob. <laughs> Charlie, Edward or Jacob? This is some Twilight shit. It, it is. It Edward is. or Jacob? <laughs> Fuck you! What's I'm sorry. Son of a you bitch! Internet, <laughs> you got a pick, bro! This is real man shit. Man. I am so sorry, yeah, I lost it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, Edward or Jacob? What would Rachel pick? You gonna ignore me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll let him deal, deal with Twilight. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. What would Rachel pick? 
know. What do you pick, Vanessa? She you haven't she, said your choice. She didn't see the last one, so I don't I would pick Team Edward. Edward. Which one's the wolf? Jacob. Uh, oh, no, okay. I'd pick Jacob. Jacob? Because he's a wolf. Vampires are cool, but who could be a wolf? You can have two extra legs. That's yeah, pretty awesome, that bro. Pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, that's that's awesome. I love that. Oh, here's one. Did you see this one? Wu Tang Clan or 98 Degrees? Oh, uh, I went to that Wu Tang. You know, you got to. You have to. you have to go. Okay, In Sync or Backstreet? In Sync, if I have to. In Sync, she says she said Wu Tang. Yeah, she's a big Wu Tang. Yeah. You guys have any questions for her, real quick? Like, yes, like you know, two minutes. Okay, so. Um, I think you should let her cuss because you gave this long speech about how she couldn't cuss when she got the show. Miss Jamie her. does not cuss anymore. Did She's she on a righteous girl? path. Huh? Did she already show up her sash? Yeah, can we see the, the full... Can you show, uh, show your sash? I can't stand up because it will get off real? camera. No. But... Oh, it's fruity Just pebbles. show... There you go. Right. Yeah. It says Fruity oh. Pebbles. <laughs> it's Fruitville. We love Fruitville. Fruitville. Hey, Fruitville. Hello, Fruitville. I'm sorry I shouldn't have cussed like that. I apologize about that. Uh, Edward was the wolf. I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't know. No, he wasn't. He was not. That's not true. Do you have a memory of us when we, when we hung out? No? She's thinking. She's thinking. She's, she's, a nice little short she's thinking. Always keeping with you. She's thinking. <laughs> the only time, you know what? I re, I remember, uh, one thing. I don't know why. I always remember this. When you were, because Jamie was a cheerleader, when you were in cheerleading uniform, I like me and Jamie were really good friends, like strictly platonic, you know, you guys know, my road dog. I would always give her hugs, or vice versa. When she was in our cheerleading uniform, she could never hug me. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, it was our role. We weren't allowed to touch any boys, not even holding on the sorry. Anymore. And 20 years later, she still doesn't hug me. So there's <laughs> that. What happened to my screen? <laughs> oh. There we go. I screwed it away. Uh, Jamie, before we wrap this up, do you have anything you want to plug uh, before we get going? Or, like, what do you have going What's What's next for Jamie? So, you got Mr. Cannon going on. Uh, explain that. Is there a way we can vote for you, or how does that work? Yes. So, the pageant will be Saturday. Voting closes tomorrow evening. So, I'll include the PayPal link on the live, if that's okay. I'm going to then... type it up. Keep talking. I'll type it up right now as we speak. Yeah, you could copy and paste it off my Facebook. And, um... And so you could vote if you, let's say you pay twenty dollars. It's twenty votes. It's a dollar per vote. And I'll uh -huh. find out. Now we gotta watch her Stay tuned. Type it up. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on one second. I am typing in exactly. Wait, it says pay. It says PayPal. Uh, dot com backslash PayPal Miss me backslash Miss Kern County. Yes. Sent, mother suckers. I did it. <laughs> so vote so the, there. So and, vote there. And in addition to the pageant, and in my effort to fight for the oil and gas industry, we should be the website. If you would like to go to the MizEnergyProgress.com website, you could insert your email and get on the email list. We are getting ready to launch the website, hopefully by Sunday, and we should have the podcast out by depending on Apple and if they approve it out by next week. We're all, we, we've been waiting for Apple, Spotify, Google Play to approve the podcast. And so we're just kind of waiting on that, but we're ready. So if anybody's in the oil and gas industry or anyone has a story that they would like to share, see me. It's not just about industry leaders. I am excited to work with those people, but equally I want everyone's story of how the oil and ga gas industry has positively influence your life, especially being in Kern County. So I, if you're a janitor, a CEO, all equal to me. So there's so many right stories. On. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. There you go, Jamie. I like that. Everybody's clapping. They can't hear you, so yeah. they're just clapping, though. Thank you. <laughs> they're just clapping. I, I just cue them. Clap, clap, clap. This community <laughs> support, supports you for sure. We support Jamie. Jamie, plan on all of us voting for you. Um, but one thing before we let you go, someone we need to know this, Jamie. Yes. Food Co. or Food Max? Winco. 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 Yeah, Winco, cuz. W's. Winco and Winco and Wu Tang. Yeah, Winco and Wu Tang. It's all about the W's. 
West High. It is all about the W. It's all about the W. Uh, again, uh, Jamie, you were a pleasure. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for Best of luck. Me. Absolutely. Best of luck to you. It's going to, again, vote for her. I put the link in the, the website, uh, in the comments. Uh, vote for her. It's a dollar. It's one dollar to vote for her. I'm going to vote for her multiple times if I can. And uh, good luck. Let us know how it goes. You guys, we might have the future Miss Kern County. Yeah! yeah. Oh, Woo. Woo. Baby, make that happen. happen. That's right. That's right. Follow her. The yeah. podcast and goes. JP, thank you so much. And yes. we will Love talk you to you soon, guys. Thank We're you for taking me. Hit the Venmo for Ernesto. That's right. Hit me up for the Venmo. He works, he works on donations, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My Jamie. Don't forget to throw yourself in there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> bye, Jamie. Okay, bye. That was a lot of fun with Jamie, guys. Was she, was she not cool? Yeah, She's, great. She yeah. literally, like, she did a 180. Like, she, you know, we used to have a lot of fun, like, in Party of the Girls, but now she's all about, you know, business. She's a mother. She does a lot of great things. So I really hope she wins, you know? Yeah, so I'm going to vote for her and everything yeah, else. Yeah, me too. Uh, again, guys, thank you for tuning in for another great show of the Nestle Goma Show. Um, again, thank you to the crew and everybody else. Uh, Anthony, Charlie, uh, Jesse, Ricky Bird. Again, we're giving away uh, Border Brothers. Yeah, if they say Border Brothers in the comment, we'll send them a link to the movie right now. Blu-rays. Right I want to say DVDs. Yeah, right now, right say now. Border Brothers. If you want information about Jamie's things going on, please let me know. I'll give away gas cards. Type in gas cards in the comments. Oh, and then Machine Gun Baby is coming out on September 8th for only two Boom! on 4K. Do you have the baby here? Yes. Ooh, oh, I need the yes, baby. We yes, we baby. do. So, uh, two or three, actually four years ago, we shot this movie called Machine Gun Baby. <laughs> It's a, it, it's a short film, 30 minutes. It is a very dark humor. Uh, put it this way. Fly it in the this baby. is the baby right here. Okay. <laughs> this is the baby uh, right here. Watch it later. We'll put the thing, the link in the comments to the uh, deal. So cute. <laughs> so this little guy is basically. Award winning film, six awards. Six Did it won six awards? Six, six awards, yep. <laughs> So, uh, so this is the baby that's in the film. This is this is the based on this person. Yeah. Say hi. So, Machine Gun Baby. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. It is a very funny film. You gotta have a dark, dark, dark sense of humor. Grind Do not. House, it's a grindhouse, house, not for your kids. No, but maybe we. Uh, what, what, when's the date coming out? Premiering it, Ricky. Uh, what? When we're premiering, premiering it? It's, uh, it's coming out on Vimo On Demand, um, September 8th. And if uh, we'll give away 10 free ones if they type in Ernesto in the, um, in the, the comments. Deal. There you go. You type in Ernesto. Ernesto, Ernesto at checkout on, on the, from the link. Yeah, Ernesto, D-A-D-D-Y. -D 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 no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's actually E-R-N-E-S-T-O. And you um, type that in, and we will give you what, free copies? Yeah, you get a free copy. We'll give away 10 of them. 10, Ten free machine copies, Machine Gun baby. baby. It's a short film. It is really good. We had a lot of fun. Um, uh, we we uh, filmed it back in April of 2016, behind the scenes. It, it was great. I play a doctor in there. Yeah, I can't do. tell you what happens to me. Yeah, you do. Uh, but I think our, my you're scene was pretty doctor, good. You're not a doctor, but you play one on TV. <laughs> I think I play a doctor pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. You're a believer. You're great with kids. You. I can tell by the way you're holding that baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that. He's, he's ready to go home. He's ready to go home. Again, so check that out, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Nessa Gomez Show. Uh, we will be back next Thursday for more. I'm sorry. I'm, right. I'm over. Uh, <laughs> he's, I forgot he's not real. Nobody was baby in the corner. Nobody was baby in the corner. So, uh, again, you guys, check it out. Uh, and you guys have a great night. Uh, love one another. I feel like Nick, what's his name? Uh, from the, the Talking Dead. I ain't done no Okay, anyways. Yeah, you guys be nice to each other. Like, it's crazy because before I go, I had a lot of people, like, for some reason, why were, like, hate on me this week? Or, like, they were just emailing me like, a bunch of shit, like, you know. Oh, like, yeah. I just, like, you know, you seem so arrogant and cocky. Oh, like, and, and they're like, well, I heard this and that. I'm like, what are you talking about? But I just kind of say, okay, cool. I got used to it. Anyways. Just give love. I just, yeah, just give love. You guys be safe. Again, uh, happy Labor Day weekend. Please be safe, whatever you do. Wear your mask. Uh, put hand sanitizer on. 
And no ass to face touching. That's right. No <laughs> ass to face touching. You guys stay safe. Thank you, everybody. Have a good Thank night. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. See you next week.